Hold still, hold no, still. You got your one herd of beer, okay? Just, uh, I'll just start, your... yeah, and I'm just gonna. Yeah. One, two, three. This is the third open day for the uh, for the uh, enlarged cotter dam. So this is the third time that people at Canberra have been able to get on site and have a look at what what we're doing. You can just see the old dam from here. You won't see it from any yeah. dam. Are you going to need that and more, or you've made enough crush to make the concrete with? We've just assembled the, the crusher. <laughs> There's an added bit of uh, interest today too, Richard, with the rain over the last uh, over the last few days particularly overnight, we've got a, a serious flow of water coming through the dam. We've already had a lot of people here, Richard. We've had, uh, by my count, about a thousand already moving through. Um, I think I've spoken to most of them. My name's Donna and my daughter's Lauren and Jade and I have my husband and mother-in-law. Pretty interesting, the, the height of it and the thickness of it at the bottom. I understand it's 120 metres uh, thick at the bottom and it's, uh, it's pretty high. There's going to be a lot of water in there. We've been here once before. My husband was really keen to visit again to be able to have access to have a look closer to the, the wall. Interesting the dam. Oh, well. Um, I'm a retired civil engineer, <laughs> so I do have an interest in these sort of things. <laughs> They've built a beautiful walk here, and the, the river's raging, white water, beautiful. Even the children were saying, well, why are they needing to increase it? And we just said, well, the population's increasing. We've just come out along the Malongolo, where we can see where all the houses are going to be built and so we can see right we are really needing it because the population is expanding so it's nice for the children to come and have a look to see how it changes and maybe in 20 years they'll come again and remember when they came as a family and that dam wall the middle bit is all about storage and then the intake tower is all about taking the water out of the dam and where the dam operators can really do a uh, they'll mix the water as they want to mix it because the water at the bottom of the dam is no good uh, the water at the top of the dam is turbid, yep. and when you've got full dams, you take the water from the middle. From Mount Gambia, South Australia, and we're just on holidays driving around for a month, so we've come up the east coast to Sydney, Blue Mountains, and then back down to Canberra. I just like to see how it's going, and it's really nice to see the, the construction side of it as well, and the, how big it is and how big the project is. I think it's great the way they've actually done the boardwalk with the information, so it actually gives you something to have a look at while you're walking walking along as well to get that information. No, it's fantastic. I think it's part of our heritage. It's the first construction pro project here in the ACT, going back to 1912-13. It's the first major project, apart from the sewerage works, which is up around where they're doing the new Northwestern. And so uh, it's a part of us, it's a part of our history. I think it's something that everybody here should know about. Well, we were looking at it going, oh no, it's going to be too wet. And we were surprised, actually, because I looked at the website to see whether it was still on, and it was still on, so someone was really looking at the weather very well. There's a lot of water, so um, it comes down through the diversion tunnel, which is in between the current wall and the old, the old wall and the new wall. Um, but once that... Once the so the ACTU team and uh, the Bokwa Alliance team have done a fantastic job to get ready to allow the public in to what is a place they're not normally allowed to get to while we're building the dam. Isn't it amazing? Um, they're not all engineering nerds. There are a few who really just like the engineering of it. But I think it is a combination of a very unique place, Cotter. Um, the fact that the Cotter Dam is historically the reason why Canberra is Canberra today and seeing something happen um, that's historic, the building of a single bit of public infrastructure for the good of the next generations. I think the combination of that, the romance, the, the technical interest, 
and just the excitement of being part of a community event. And besides it's been raining for three or four days, they've probably got cabin fever and just want to get out. <laughs> <laughs> We're damn Avengers. It's looking damn good. How else would a damn good damn look? Yeah. Yeah. Can't fault that. No.